This is the iPhone 3GS and in this video we're going to show you how to replace various components in your phone. Firstly, you remove the SIM card if you haven't already done so and then remove the two screws from the bottom of the phone by the dock port as being shown here in the video. Once the screws are removed, using a safe pry tool, run this along the bottom of the phone between the bezel and the glass to pop the screen out as shown here in the video. Next, slowly lift the glass as it is still connected with three ribbon cables. These are labeled one, two, and three. Cable number one may have already released, but it's just a pop connector which just needs to be popped up, and two is the same. Cable number three is in a jaw connector. To release the cable from the jaw connector, lift the white tab up 90 degrees as being shown here in the video using a safe pry tool. Now the jaw connector has been opened, we can carefully remove the digitizer glass from the rest of the phone. To access the LCD screen and digitizer, we need to remove several small Phillips screws as being pointed out here in the video. Remove all of these screws. Now all the screws have been removed, we can remove the LCD screen away from the digitizer. To do this, use a flat headed screwdriver and just pry away the metal frame as being shown here in the video. You may be tempted to pry from underneath the LCD screen, but do not do this as you are likely to cause damage to the screen. Once the LCD screen has been lifted, slide out and then lift. Now we have the digitizer and the midsection. These are held together with glue. To separate these, um, the best way to do it is to use a heat gun or a hairdryer to warm the glue to make them easier to separate. Here we're using a hairdryer to heat the glue between the midsection and the digitizer to make the digitizer easier to remove. You may wish to hold the digitizer with a hand cloth or wear a glove as the frame can get very hot. Be careful not to overheat the digitizer as we don't want to damage any components. Once the glue has been heated, we can start to pry up the digitizer from the plastic midsection. You can use the safe pry tool as being shown here in the video to gently lift this up. If you are having trouble working at one end, you may wish to start at the sides as this can be easier. Once you have released the glue from one end, you'll need to start on the other. You may wish to heat the glue again as it would have cooled down. Release the digitizer from the midsection just like you did the other side. You can now remove the digitizer from the midsection. Be careful of the ribbon cables when doing this so not to damage them. Now 
Now you have separated the digitizer from the midsection. Remove any excess glue from the midsection and you can install the new digitizer. If you need information on how to install the new digitizer, please check our installation video on the Repairs Universe website.